tube food. In the very first space missions, astronauts ate their food from metal tubes, similar to toothpaste containers. They would press out mashed meals like beef, vegetables, or applesauce straight into their mouths. The texture was very gooey and astronauts disliked it, but it worked well because nothing could float away in space, which kept things clean and safe in zero gravity. John Glenn, the first American to eat in space in 1962, had applesauce from a tube and said it was not bad, even though it wasn't delicious. Today, tube food is mostly used by Russians. They still pack some foods like cottage cheese and soups this way. Freeze-dried food Freeze-dried food is still one of the most common forms of space food since its introduction during Project Gemini in the 1960s as an improvement over the tube system. Freeze-drying reduces the food's weight due to the removal of most of the water in it and increases its shelf life to 25 years or more. The downside is the need to rehydrate the food with precise amounts of water and to carefully prevent crumbs from floating in the spaceship. NASA experimented with freeze-dried ice cream during the Apollo missions, but astronauts disliked them, and today, they're mostly sold in space museums. Thermostabilized food Similar to canned food, thermostabilized food allows astronauts to eat straight from the pouch without adding any water or changing its texture, due to the preheating of the food in a process called retort. The heating kills harmful bacteria and extends the shelf life of the food without the need for a fridge. Some astronauts still heat the pouches to improve the taste. Due to the limited water supply, this form of food is friendlier to space and preferred by NASA, and many comfort foods like lasagna and chocolate pudding were created over the years. They also have fruits, beef tips with mushrooms, tomatoes, and eggplant. Drink powders Astronauts drink from pouches filled with powdered drinks. They add water in space using a tube and mix it with the powder. They have a wide variety of drinks, ranging from coffee and tea to smoothies and fruit juices. Hot drinks like coffee sometimes come with powdered cream or sugar, depending on personal taste preferences, and the ISS even had its own espresso machine called IS Espresso that was created in part by the Italian coffee company Lavazza. Some flavored drinks are sent in vacuum-sealed beverage pouches instead of powder. Bite-sized natural foods Some of the foods sent to space are just regular dry foods like crackers or nuts that can be eaten in one bite without leaving any crumbs. Some bite-sized foods are coated with gelatin to prevent crumbling. This is also why M&Ms are very popular on the ISS, as their candy coating makes them ideal for space consumption, and they were officially approved as space food in 1981. NASA struggled for years with creating a good space bread that has no crumbs, until a Mexican astronaut asked for a tortilla in his food supply, and the agency found its solution. They discovered that commercial food manufacturers had already created tortillas with a shelf life long enough for space, and NASA began sourcing tortillas from specialized food companies for space missions. Rehydratable food This is a newer kind of freeze-dried food that's sealed in strong plastic bags and meant for foods like oatmeal, soups, or pasta. Each bag has a valve where astronauts inject hot water. After waiting a few minutes, they squish the bag to mix it up, cut it open, and eat it with a spoon. Rehydratable food is very lightweight and takes up little space. Russian space food Russian astronauts called cosmonauts have their own space food. They often use canned meals or metal tubes with foods like borscht, cottage cheese, or meat puree, and sometimes they even get small servings of caviar for special holidays. Soviet space food was the first to go up in the 1960s, and Russian cosmonauts were also pioneers in fresh food production in space. By the mid-1970s, cosmonauts on the Salyut space research stations were able to grow fresh food such as tomatoes, coriander, and cucumbers from their orbital space gardens, and they were also the first to have a sip of alcohol in orbit, sent up to celebrate the birthday of one of their crew. 3D Printed Food One of the future concepts NASA is working on for food production in both space travel and moon or Mars colonies is 3D food printing, which, in theory, could become the main method of making food in space. Instead of carrying lots of heavy packaged food, astronauts could use long-lasting powders and gels as food ink to print out a much wider variety of fresh and personalized dishes. If astronauts grow plants or even insects in space, those could also be turned into ink cartridges for the 3D printer. NASA has funded several successful tests, including the first printed pizza in 2013, but these machines are still prototypes, and none has yet passed the long safety checks needed before astronauts can use them on the ISS. Space-grown food Space agencies have successfully raised plants in orbit since the 1960s, when the Soviet Union grew wheat, peas, and onions aboard the Voshod 2. By the 1980s, cosmonauts on Salyut and Mir stations even managed to harvest seeds that grew into a second generation, proving plants could complete their life cycle in space. The breakthrough moment came in 2015, when astronauts on the ISS grew red romaine lettuce and ate it with olive oil and balsamic vinegar, making it the first official space-grown meal. Beyond nutrition, caring for plants also 
also helps astronauts feel happier and less stressed. In the future, NASA and ESA want to build inflatable greenhouses on the moon, or Mars, using local soil mixed with fertilizer. Scientists have even tested potatoes in fake Martian dirt, though water remains a major challenge. Future missions may pair plant farming with insects for protein, and the ultimate goal is a fully closed loop farm, where everything is recycled, plant waste feeding bacteria or fish, which then help new plants grow, a system that could feed crews on very long missions. Fresh food and snacks. Every few months, NASA gives astronauts a break from packaged foods, and sends them some fresher foods like apples, oranges, carrots, or candy bars. Because fresh food doesn't last long, it's eaten quickly and often shared. One astronaut said she cried happy tears when she got a fresh grapefruit after months without anything juicy. Fermented and cultured foods. Both fermented and cultured foods are being studied as better future space food options. Fermented foods like yogurt, kimchi, or pickles are harder to safely send to space because they spoil faster, and their live microbes must be carefully controlled. In a recent study from April 2025, fermented miso paste was successfully produced on the International Space Station, marking the first food deliberately fermented outside Earth. The space miso was said to have a stronger, nuttier flavor than on Earth. Cultured meat, also known as lab-grown meat, is real meat grown from a small sample of animal cells in special tanks. These cells can form new muscle tissue, making meat without raising or killing animals. In theory, astronauts could use this method to grow enough meat to feed a crew from just a tiny starter sample of cells. Scientists are also developing lab-grown dairy, eggs, fish, and even leather materials, which could support long-term space missions. Closed-loop food system. This highly futuristic idea suggests a fully circular approach to food production and consumption, where everything on the spaceship is being recycled to feed another part, almost like a mini-Earth inside a spaceship or a Mars base. Everything from leftovers to plants to even human waste will be recycled into food in this system, using bacteria that can break these down into edible materials like powders or protein paste. Astronauts on the ISS already recycle most of their water, even turning breath and sweat back into drinking water. And scientists have already built test labs where people lived for months in fully recycled sealed systems, like Russia's BIOS-3 and NASA's BioPlex. If implemented successfully, this concept could let astronauts live for years in space without supply ships from Earth.